The Bay Cruiser 23 is an exciting new design from Swallow Boats. This video shows her first trials March 2010 on the River Tyvee in West Wales. Although cold, the weather conditions were light with gusts up to force 4 expected later. Perfect for a good all round test. Like many of our designs, this boat has a water ballast system designed to keep her on her feet in heavier weather and to reassure nervous crew. Great care should be taken if sailing are empty, but it's fun to do in light conditions and of course it makes her much easier to launch, recover and tow. This first boat was fitted with an electric propulsion system with a folding prop on a sail drive leg. The sheer convenience of this arrangement is a huge benefit. At the touch of a lever in the cockpit you have instant high torque power and a great feeling of control. At this point in the video I go forward to drop the centreboard. I was concerned that without it I wouldn't be able to turn in a tight circle. Having some rudder in the water would also have helped though. The sails on this boat are D4 laminate sails from the Dolphin sail loft in Harwich. Although expensive they perfectly complement the blend of classic styling with the best of modern materials. In addition, the owner opted for a Harken Batcar system which after a small modification to suit trailer sailing works really well. You can see how easy it is to raise the mainsail. Once we unfurled the headsail and headed off the wind a little, she really took off. After months of hard work, it was great to see her on the water. The promised wind did fill in and we decided to fill the ballast tanks mainly because we wanted to test the system. It also meant I could hand over the helm to my colleagues and step ashore to work the camera, safe in the knowledge that they couldn't capsize. Here you can see her working her way up against a strong ebb tide right in the mouth of the estuary. Her powerful and efficient sail plan really helps here together with her centreboard which draws 5 feet when down and is a fully profiled aerofoil section.
We still have some last jobs to complete, one of which is fitting some lazy jacks to aid single-handed sail handling. Another job is to wire in the electric bilge pump, which is also used to empty the ballast tanks. There is a manual backup pump, but surprisingly no one was keen to pump out 450 kilos of water before recovery. Actually, we also wanted to see what it was like to recover the boat fully ballasted and to check that the trailer was up to it. I was also curious to see if my car would have any problem pulling the boat up the ramp. Thank you. 